Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Answer Man broadcast with another Hank Unplugged Short. As I was reading the newspaper this morning, I was reminded of how Western governments, which have been mandated by God, as it were, to ennoble life and promote justice to to restrain sin are instead leading leading a charge towards social chaos. And that social chaos is now upon us in full force. And this denigration of Western civilization is hardly symptomatic of, of a fevered imagination. It is real, astonishingly real. And that is evidenced by by the three quintessential building blocks of civil society, of marriage, of government, of church, all of which, all of which rest atop the foundation of human life. Think marriage. Marriage was once correctly believed to be the unique, permanent, and, and comprehensive union of body, mind, emotion, soul, the proper end of which is children. Today, the lives of children have become expendable. And when we think about marriage, not only has the U.S. Supreme Court redefined marriage, but it has opened Pandora's grisly box. How? Well, if there's no special virtue in gender-differentiated parenting, is there any magic in the number two? And why arbitrarily assign 18 as the magical age of consent? My point is simply this. Once Western civilization abandons the biblical definition of marriage, there is virtually no limit on where our unsanctified passions will inevitably lead. Western civilization has been mandated, as it were, by God to ennoble life, to promote justice, to restrain sin, but instead is now leading the charge toward what can only be described as social chaos, even, well, even toward the eradication of the gender distinctions ordained by God from the inception of human civilization. We now see government agencies creating and manipulating and disseminating ideological constructs that are driving the whole of civilization in a very, very dangerous direction. But in saying all of that, I inevitably think about the church because I I truly believe that the most colossal failure belongs to the church. Pagans are going to exercise their job description. But what about the church? The church has become a microcosm of the culture as opposed to being a change agent in the culture. We have imitated the culture. For all intents and purposes, the church has succumbed to the crushing onslaught of a liberal liberalism. And in this regard, one of the the quotes that I hope you will have embedded at some point in your memory trace is that of Jacob Neusner. He, of course, one of the most published authors in history. A man who reminded us that civilization hangs suspended from generation to generation by the gossamer strand of memory. Newsers said that if only one cohort of mothers and fathers fails to convey to its children what it 
has learned from its parents, then the great chain of learning and wisdom snaps. If the guardian, the church itself, the guardian of human knowledge stumbles only one time in its collapse is the whole edifice of knowledge and understanding. If truth matters, and it most certainly does, the church must once again take the task of Christian education seriously. Not edutain, but educate. Equip our children and theirs to always be ready to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give a reason for the hope that you have. And as St. Peter put it, do it with gentleness and with respect. Thanks for tuning in.